Good afternoon and welcome to our March 17th, 2022 Select Board and Licensing Commissioner um, meeting. I call this meeting to order at 3 p.m. And I will take a roll call vote uh, for attendance. Chris Nobley here. Janice Phillips here. Richard Valancourt here. And Laura Bates here. Um, I'm just going to read our um, message for our virtual meetings. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Act of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via re remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so on their televisions by tuning to Comcast Channel 8 or Verizon Channel 26 or online at www.northandovercam.org. No in-person attendance of meetings of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequate, adequately access the proceedings in real time via technical, technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the website an audio or video recording transcript or other comprehensive, re comprehensive record of the proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. Okay, I will um, take a motion to enter into licensing. Motion to move into licensing, please. I'll second. I have a motion and a second. All those in favor, roll call vote. Chris Nobley, aye. Jada Phillips, aye. Richard Valancourt, aye. Laura Bates, aye. And we are in licensing. Okay, thank you. Well, we only have one item here today, and that's uh, the common vigiler license. And uh, we have the paperwork here. This is uh, the license application from Jackie Levine of It's All Good in the Kitchen, LLC, uh, which is located at 119 Main Street, uh, Suite 1E. Uh, in our packet, we've got uh, favorable recommendations from the police, fire, health department, building inspector with no conditions. Uh, the application is complete and uh, all looks good here. And I think um, we have folks here from All Good in the Kitchen to uh, to speak to us. Sure. Great. Please tell well, us a little you. bit about you for, your business. Uh, thank you uh, again for doing this. Um, you know, we were in a position of uh, having to uh, wait a period of time uh, based on uh, having not gotten the uh, the the common ventula license in in time uh, having to wait until probably the your next meeting which was going to be on 28th and i, I want to thank you all for getting together at this short notice and and doing this by um by zoom meeting um we are here we have a 16 seat uh location um four high tops and the rest are uh smaller seats with uh five tables i'm sorry four tables um and um we hope that uh, you'd be interested in approving our license for allow people to come in here and sit down and enjoy some breakfast and lunch, gluten-free, de de dedicated gluten-free options. Great. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, Janice was in here the other day. I hope your stuff was good. Delicious. Thank you. Right. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> Is well, there anything else you need from information from us or? But other than that, this is just your opportunity to kind of inform folks, um, you know, obviously in a regular meeting, a little more uh, viewership, but it's always good to kind of know, uh, ha have a little more of an understanding of your, your business. And, um, you know, we're uh, excited to see, uh, you know, see it come about. Well, we started out in a, as a, a home business in Auburn, New Hampshire, and uh, Jackie had a friend who um, was um, a celiac and asked Jackie to make a few things. Um, and she started baking some uh, gluten-free items, which uh, she, this individual loved and said, hey, listen, there's a niche here. You should uh, think about selling these items. We did it locally around, the, around our home. And then finally we found a, um, a brick and mortar in Salem, New Hampshire. And we were there for four years uh, much smaller than this. <laughs> it was much only 600 smaller. square feet. And we were just basically doing bakery items and coffee and we had no seating inside um, and, and didn't have the ability to expand. Um, we had a young lady who came in from North Andover and she said, oh, by the way, Frederick's Bakery over there is looks like they're closed and they won't be opening back up. 
the spaces available. So we came here and and um, and checked it out, and that was back in I think it was September October of last year, and then we began the process of getting this all all set up and. And it was an omen because it was already purple. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> which happens to be our color. And right. I don't know if you can oh, actually yeah. see, <laughs> see the purple oh. over there. And that, yeah. that's our logo, but it's purple and the purple in our hair. Um, yeah, so purple is um, kind of like the basic color for the for the organization. And um, we uh, we've had three opening days, all very good so far. We opened on Tuesday. And all three days have been just great. Uh, a lot of people coming in, uh, people coming in uh, multiple times, saying they love the stuff and and uh, and you know really uh, really enjoy our, I think our what, food. I think what helps too is that we're a dedicated gluten free bakery and cafe, um, so there's no risk of cross contamination, especially with people who have celiac disease. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I know that some people have just an intolerance, some people have an allergy. Um, and they can sometimes, you know, cross contamination isn't an issue, but for someone who is celiac, it's a major issue. And um, so we pride ourselves in, in that, you know, and making sure that there is no cross contamination in any of our products. And, and it's really um, exciting for me that we have started doing some like breakfast sandwiches and lunch options and and stuff like that because that's really my niche. I never thought that I would own a bakery because I don't really like to bake. <laughs> um, but I always loved to cook, you know. And and if anything, I always thought that I would open up a little Italian cafe. But I don't know. That's not where I was sent. So um, this is my passion, working with food and with the people. I've I've been in the, you know business with working with people my whole life. I was a hairdresser for 40 years, you know, and then retired. I'm supposed to be retired now, <laughs> but uh, I'm not. So, um, yeah, so it, it's an exciting adventure. Wonderful. Yes. Well, good I can say that one of, the mo one of the greatest things that I've heard somebody already say about your business is, I can't wait to allow my child who has celiac to go in and pick out whatever they want because they never yes. get to do that so yes and that's one, we can, <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things that we come across quite a bit is is you know people will come in and they're like okay what what's gluten free and when we say everything it's like oh my god like the world has just opened up because it's so rare you know i mean yeah you can go to this bakery or that bakery or that cafe and they have some gluten-free options but then you do have to worry about that cross-contamination thing you know mm -hmm. and um so it's, it's, yeah, I mean, we've had some people who have come in. I, I'll never forget this one customer came in and she bought one of our cannolis. I think it was the first year we were open. She bought one of our cannolis, hadn't had one in over 20 years, went outside, ate it in her car and came back in tears because she was so excited that she was able to eat something and tasted so good. And, and like, that's what makes it worth getting up at 3.30 every morning to get here. <laughs> you know things like that so wonderful. it's good wonderful and it's been great the past three days a lot of uh people from north andover have come in here saying we've been waiting for you to open and um, they come in and they purchase stuff and, and they come back and it's 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 great so the first uh first three three days so far have been awesome yeah. fantastic well fantastic uh, and I, i'm sure i i, I maybe i'm beating a uh or I should let the other select board members say, but we do have a very active merchants association. Is that not correct, Janice and, and Dick? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll come back and see you again with that. <laughs> okay. And I, I just think it's wonderful to think it's a it's a service and a and a a, a need for such a, a grown population of people. And um, you know, certainly I think your your comments are right on that people can go in there. And they can choose anything on the menu and not just uh, what's down in the lower right hand corner, you know, mm -hmm. so it's really, it's really something and I wish you the best of luck and I, I'm sure you're going to, you're going to do well because I, myself, I know a lot of people who, who are gluten free and I think they'll be very excited to find out that there's, there's a place that they can go and, and choose anything on the menu. So thank you for choosing North Andover. Thank you. Awesome. Well, with that, I'd love to hear a motion to make this uh, formal and official. I move that we approve the common pictorial license for 
it's all good in the kitchen as stated on the agenda. Great. Second. And second. Thank you, Laura. Uh, all in favor, we'll do a roll call vote, please. Laura Bates, aye. Janice Phillips, aye. Richard Valencourt, aye. Chris Nobley, aye. Uh, four zero, you are good to go and official. Congratulations, Jackie. Congratulations. 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 Welcome to North Andover. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, with that, I'll hear a motion to uh, leave licensing. So moved. Second. Thank you. Uh, all in favor, please roll call. Laura Bates, aye. Janice Phillips, aye. Richard Valancourt, aye. Chris Nobley, aye. To you, Madam Chair. Thank you so much. Um, so, a uh, short meeting, and we will be back for our next meeting on March 28th at 7 p.m. Um, in the select board room. And I will take a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion and a second. All those in favor, roll call. Chris Nobley, aye. Janice Phillips, aye. Richard Valancourt, aye. Laura Bates, aye. And we adjourn. Thank you so much, everybody. Right. Have a great day. Take care, everybody. Bye now. Bye.